Hello booktube and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have decided that I'm going to do the booktube newbie tag. This is something that I probably should have did as my first video and I'm sorry that I didn't. Um, this is a perfect way for you guys to get to know be, know be. Come on Elena, can you speak? This is a great chance for you guys to get to know me since all I've been posting is I posted a book review and some book um, subscription unboxings, but you guys know nothing about me. You just know that my name is Elena because I say it in like every video, but I would like for you guys as my subscribers and new people coming in who are thinking about subscribing me to know a little about me. So I'm going to do the tag. So here we go. Let's get into these questions. Uh, first question. Oh, um, by the way, this uh, tag was originally created by Between Chapters. Um, since I'm recording on my phone and I'm going to be uploading with my phone, I won't be able to attach her uh, the link to her channel. But she is her channel is called Between Chapters, and she's a great booktuber. I'm subscribed to her, so go subscribe to her if you haven't already. Uh, okay, now with the questions, where are you joining us from? I live in Orlando, Florida, so that's where I'm joining you from, and I live in a house also, you know, cool beans. Uh, next question, why did you join BookTube? I joined BookTube to talk about books, because I love books. I am obsessed with books. I love to read, even though I haven't been reading as often as I should. Um, I have a lot of things going on right now at school and everything, so I need to just discipline myself more and force myself to make time to read and then I would actually be able to read more books a month like I want to. haven't been able to get to my TBRs or my wants to read because I just haven't been forcing myself to read like I should. Next question, what is the meaning behind your channel name? Um, my channel name is The Taste of Regret. Uh, it doesn't really have a meaning too much. It's the name of a song by a band. Uh, the song is The Taste of Regret and then the band is called In Fear and Faith. I really love that song and I really love that band so I decided to make it my channel name. It's also my Instagram name. Uh, next question, what types of books do you read slash want to talk about? I love thrillers, psychological thrillers, horror books, stuff like that. Uh, my least favorite genre is romance. I don't like reading romance. I don't think I've ever read anything romantic except for Everything Everything. It was kind of close, um, but I really loved that book. So I'm completely and totally open to reading any type of book out there. It's really hard for me to get into fantasy and romance though. So definitely going to be talking about a lot of thrillers on my channels. So if you're a person that wants to know good recommendations of thrillers, I'm the girl to talk to. Uh, next question. Who are your favorite authors? Um, Stephen King, Harlan Coben, James Patterson. Bam. Next question. What is the last book you read? The last book I read was The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. The review is up on my channel if you want to check that out. So there you go. It was an awesome book. I loved it. I read it for class, but it was a really good book. I really enjoyed it. Um, next question. What are you currently reading? I am currently reading Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. I had to look at that to make sure I didn't say her name wrong. Um, but yes, I'm currently reading that book. I'm on chapter 23 and I'm in a reading slump because I just can't, I don't know why, I just can't continue to read. But I've just been being caught up with freaking Netflix and stuff, so I need to stop. Like, Elena, stop. You need to stop watching TV, pick up a book. Yeah. Uh, next question, what do you use for bookmarks? I use actual bookmarks or sticky tabs, like I have some sticky tabs right there for you guys to see and then I have like a whole, I can't turn the camera around which sucks, I don't understand that, but I have like a whole thing of bookmarks, I'll probably do a separate video on like all of my bookmarks, they're pretty cool, I got them at Barnes and Noble, they say pretty funny things on them like I like big books and I cannot lie and stuff like that so <clears throat> really cool I love the bookmarks and I use them they have like really pretty like here I'll show you one like things that hang like they're they're cute they're really cute they're durable they're like two dollars each so yeah, that's not bad uh, next question show us your TBR pile um so my main TBR pile is pretty short it's only three books just because I'm trying to give myself a realistic goal um, even though a realistic goal would probably be like one book <laughs> because I it's already May 8th and I haven't even started reading any of these books on my TBR. 
Club, this is my TBR, so Into the Water, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and The Girl on a Train. Um, I just got The Girl on a Train and Into the Water, and then I got Simon vs. Homo Sapiens last month in a giveaway that I won. So I've been really wanting to read um, all three of these books, so I'm hoping to get to them. And I'm really hoping to finish Big Little Lies before this month is over. Um, next question, hardcover or paperback? I prefer paperback just because I feel like it's easier to read for me in my hands. Um, also hardcovers with the jackets kind of annoy me because I feel like I'm going to rip the jacket or I feel like the jacket's like coming off while I'm reading it so it just gets annoying. Um, hardcovers do last longer, yes, so I do like having hardcovers but when it comes to actually physically reading the book I do, per I do per prefer, that's the word paperback. Um, most of my books though are hardcovers. Well, I have a good amount of paperback and hardcovers, but I feel like most of them are probably hardcover. I don't know. I have to go through them and, and figure out that. But next question, ebooks or physical books? Definitely physical books. I have a PDF arc that I have to finish reading like soon before the actual book comes out and it's so hard to read it. Not only because the book is like really boring, to me sorry <laughs> if the author ever watches this video um just because it's in, it's in pdf form so it's really hard for me to like like keep my attention there and then the story is just not grabbing me at all either so it's just really hard like if i hated to read pdf forms but the book was so interesting then it wouldn't be a problem but if i hate reading ebooks and pdf forms and the book is not good sorry bro it's not working out for you next question owning or borrowing definitely owning because if i fall in love with the book i'm gonna want to keep the book and i just i can't borrow books from people i just can't do it so I'm going to love the book so much that I'm not going to want to part with it, you know? I just can't do that to myself. I just can't do it. Uh, what book slash series got you into reading? Um, in elementary school, I started reading these books called Judy Bloom. No, Judy Moody books. They were like paper brown colored books. Um, they were really interesting. I really loved them. Um, also, Judy Bloom got me into reading and... Um, a series of unfortunate events got me into readings. I really love those. I've never read the Harry Potter books. I know. I know. I really want to though. I'm going to buy all of the books and start reading them because I really want to read them. I've seen like all of the movies. I would love to read the books. Next question. How did you discover booktube? I honestly have no idea. I think I think actually I searched up reviews on everything everything and then I discovered booktube that way. I discovered people talking about the book and I discovered people talking about other books and I fell in love with it because I was like wow these people are talking about things that I love to talk about and my friends don't like reading or they don't care for it so I have like nobody to talk to so that's another reason why I created my booktube channel. Uh, next question what channel do you think you will face with your own channel? What ch I think I said what channel. What challenges do you think you will face with your own channel? Um, I don't know, really. I think probably just posting videos. It's really hard for me to post videos because I want them to look great. And it's really hard for me to do that because I don't know how to edit. And I honestly really don't care for editing either. Um, there are a lot of booktubers out there that are great who don't edit their videos and don't do anything fancy. And they still get plenty of um, feedback and reviews and stuff. Um, I would say another thing, another thing is like the lack of reviews and subscribers because I feel like not enough people are watching my videos and stuff and it's kind of discouraging because it's like, I mean, I know I just started my channel not so long ago so I can't really, you know, feel a, a certain type of way that nobody's watching my videos or that nobody's subscribing to me. Um, and it's, and I didn't create the channel for that reason. Um, but I feel like I need more people to watch my videos so that I can make more friends. And I don't want to comment on every person's video and seem like, you know, I'm spamming them or I want them to subscribe to me because that's not it at all. <laughs> I just want more people to watch my videos so that we can talk about the stuff that 
I'm talking about. <clears throat> so that's a challenge, I guess, not having enough people watch my videos and not enough people to talk to, I guess. Uh, last question, where else can we find you? Social media links. So in my um, description of my channel, not my video description, my channel description has all of my social media links. Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, not Facebook though because I don't want random people on my Facebook because I have family and stuff on there. Um, but all of the like Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, all that stuff is on my channel description so feel free to follow me on all of those things i follow back i add people back i'm <laughs> nobody special so it's not like i want to be like ew not not accepting that who are you and like no i'm gonna accept you we're friends now if you're watching this video we're friends okay thank you for being my friend and thank you for watching my video even though it was it was kind of fast I feel like it's a little bit a little bit long but I was talking really fast I'm so sorry if I was talking too fast for you guys but thank you so much for watching my video I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that that helped you learn a little bit more about me um, if you haven't done this tag I invite you to do it and then let me know that you did the tag so I can go watch your video because I would love to learn more about you have a good night thank you so much for watching